I guess transfer, intergenerational transfer of knowledge is, is primarily the basis for the Soil Knowledge Network. The reason we put together the New South Wales Soil Knowledge Network was to try and stem this loss of critical soil knowledge that we've been, you know, we're going through. So we've got this huge knowledge gap that we didn't used to have. There's no succession planning for soils basically in New South Wales. It's an effort to try and recapture some of the lost expertise that particularly state governments lost over the last decade or so as we've all retired and we haven't been followed by people with similar soils experience. And so to do that we we're volunteering to get involved in current issues and currently try to help the staff who are left who don't have the soils expertise or background. Um, so we're trying to bring up to date a lot of the information sources that are available. We're trying to help train some of these people and uh, I think you know as volunteers we're all enjoying being involved again with as active soil scientists. The Soil Knowledge Network is providing me with an opportunity to give back. I've been so fortunate working in the soils area and looking after the environment via looking after the soils. But for me now, an opportunity to actually, where I can, just to, to, to provide motivation for those who are still working to keep in the area and to keep, keep that legacy going so that we end up then looking after our environment better through looking after our soils. There are not many soil scientists coming out of universities these days and there are very few uh, soil scientists, young soil scientists in the community working with soils and farmers. I hope the Soil Knowledge Network instills a much greater understanding of soils and soil science in the wider community and hopefully gets people thinking about why it is that soils are like they are, why we need to conserve them, whether or not they're vulnerable, whether or not they're valuable. Do we really value our soils to the fullest extent? Are resources expended on looking after them and managing them properly? So I'm hoping that the Soil Knowledge Network is able to pass on many, many, many years of, of experience and knowledge onto the next generation. These people are some of the most experienced, knowledgeable soils people there are that are getting around and there's, there's no, no one can compare with the sorts of knowledge that these guys have and, and if they're producing this kind of work, I want it. Yeah, we need to have it, you know, and so building this network where we can have links with the community and links with these people gives us that, that, that connection so we can still keep in touch. We can hopefully, you know, and still achieve some really great stuff. I guess the, the two main things that we'd like to achieve with, with the Soil Knowledge Network is, is number one, get, get the, um, some of the archival material into the internet, in, into the uh, electronic age. It's on relatively older documents, but the information is still relevant. And uh, putting it into a, a database that's actually searchable and available for, for people who may be interested. So that's one thing, getting the archival so we're not reinventing the wheel. Another project that's high up on our list is to get do some networking and mentoring. There's a big gaps in the training and the knowledge for soils in New South Wales and if we can build that bridge, you know, there's some of these guys walking textbooks. There's no one else that has, you know, knowledge beyond that can compare to anywhere else and if we can get involved with them, build some relationships, get some knowledge transfer going, it will just be, you know, it's a great thing all around.